Introduction to Mist and Spy Don't lie to me, I can smell the scent of a spy on you. Meng Xiaoyuan A micro-expression expert, he is certain that he can change many things. Let's create a readership. You are listening at NovelFull.audio 170.6330.8730.4 Strongly recommend the good book, Secret War Without Trace. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Good friend, sleazy style. No, Changfeng's new book, Secret War Without Trace, is on the shelves today. It's really a great book, and military writers are not easy at this stage. I hope all readers can subscribe to it. Although Changfeng people are sleazy, the books they write are still very beautiful. Spider, thank you all. Great Seal Speech You are listening at NovelFull.audio Once again, there has been a major promotion. First, thank you as usual. Thank you to my former editor-in-chief, Cookies, and Eraser. This book has also consumed a lot of their energy. Now, they have gone to Genesis, hoping that both of you will work smoothly. Then, thanks to Spider's new chief editor, Ink and Wash, and Tian Chi, well, it's really called Tian Chi, which is exactly the same as the name of Tian Chi in the book, Fate. Thanks for their advice to Spider, thank you. Then, thank you to all the readers who have supported Spider until now. Spider's transformation into the city, and then back to the military channel, cannot be achieved without your support. Sincerely thank you. I originally wanted to say something, but the Spider felt that it was better to roll back and code the characters, which was the best reward for everyone. Well, find another chance to explode next month. Thank you again for your support. Recommend one good book. Spy Tracks. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. To be honest, this book is really well written, and the spider is also reading it there. Book lovers in the wilderness can go and take a look, it's very interesting. Take one day off today. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. My mother had surgery today and took a day off. I will make up for any missing chapters. I'm sorry, Spider bows and apologizes. Chapter 1 Three Requirements You are listening at NovelFull.audio June 2, 1936 Nanjing, Saudu Lane, Military Commission Investigation and Statistics Bureau Division 2 This agency is also known as the Lixing Society Secret Service. The first subject is the Intelligence Department. Chief Tang Zong clearly had a nervous expression and said, Do you know who is a Japanese spy? Yes, Chief Tang. Meng Xiaoyuan stood at attention. Speak up. The Demao Trading Company, located at the intersection of Zinjiku in Nanjing. You're not joking with me, are you? Are you joking? Meng Xiaoyuan wished he could tell Chief Tang that before crossing this era, he was not only an expert in micro-expressions, but also had a nickname. Super Brain I will never forget what I have seen when it enters my mind. On the morning of May 30th, Xiong Zizhuang, a major staff officer of the Military Commission of the Nationalist Government, discovered that a top-secret material was lost in his briefcase. The strategic defense map of the entire nationalist government army. If this top secret material falls into the hands of the enemy, the consequences will be unimaginable. That afternoon, an urgent telegram had been delivered to Chiang Kai shek's desk. Japanese spies have successfully stolen our strategic defense blueprints and are currently intensifying their translation efforts. This report was sent directly from Shanghai by Su Enzeng, the director of the investigation department of the organization department of the Kuomintang Central Committee, to Chiang Kai-shek's attendance. After receiving this telegram, Chiang Kai-shek was shocked and immediately summoned relevant personnel to inquire. This inquiry immediately found the head of Xiongzi Manor. That afternoon, Xiang Zizhuang was arrested. Chiang Kai-shek ordered Su Enzheng to take over the investigation of this case, demanding the arrest of the Japanese spy who stole confidential information, and ideally, 
to break through the agency of the Japanese spy in Nanjing. This was originally a matter for the Middle Note Division, but Meng Xiaoyuan, who had just graduated from the Central Army Military Academy and was assigned to the Secret Service, actually knew in advance who was the Japanese spy. Tang Zong still couldn't believe it and said, How did you know? Meng Xiaoyuan answered fluently, Chief of the Reporting Department, while I was organizing materials, I found the Mao Trading Company. Done, don't tell me, talk to Director Dai. Tang Zong dared not neglect, come and meet Director Dai with me immediately. This is the first time Meng Xiaoyuan has seen the famous Dai Li. Has a dignified appearance and does not speak or smile. Even upon hearing such a big thing, he remained expressionless. Speak carefully, don't miss a single thing. Yes, Director Dai. Meng Xiaoyuan adjusted his breath and tried to recall the case in his mind. The Damal Foreign Company, nominally owned by a Japanese-Korean businessman named Park Chung-min, is likely a Japanese spy agency based on various intelligence and data analysis conducted by the Comprehensive Intelligence Department over the years. Dai Li did not continue to ask. This is the matter of the Middle Note Division. We just cooperated with the investigation. How did you find out so quickly? I have been in the intelligence department for over a month now, and I don't have any family in Nanjing, so I have been staying in the intelligence department after work, reading all kinds of intelligence, Meng Xiaoyuan said confidently I also gathered some warehouse information. The warehouse of Dumao Trading Company is located at the Luzue Warehouse in Zinjiku. Their last purchase was three months ago. During these three months, they only picked up the goods twice, and the quantity was very small each time. I checked the warehouse statistics even earlier and found that every time the Mao Trading Company purchases goods, it takes several months and six months. This made me curious. How can a foreign trading company that has been operating in Nanjing for two years survive with only such a small amount of business daily pondered there? Tang Zong stood on the side and dared not say a word, afraid that this foolish young man would be talking nonsense. If he angered Director Dai, it would be troublesome. Dai Li suddenly asked, Your name is Meng Xiaoyuan. Yes, Director Dai. Dai Li looked at him and said, You are from the 10th cohort of Huangpu University, recommended by He Rui. You graduated one month early with excellent grades and entered the intelligence department on April 25th, right? Meng Xiaoyuan was also surprised by Dai Li's equally strong memory. He Rui was the first head of the personnel department and a member of the senior qualification of the Li Xing Society. He claimed to have a pair of poisonous eyes, and the person he targeted must not be wrong. When he went to Huangpu to pick people, it was Meng Xiaoyuan who had traveled to this era for less than three days. He Rui happened to take a liking to him. There was a serious shortage of students in two areas, so we selected more than ten students with excellent grades in Huangpu. Dai Li said slowly, in the evaluation report, He Rui highly recommended you. He has a very accurate eye for people. His right index finger twitched. As a micro-expression expert in his past life, Meng Xiaoyuan keenly captured the meaning of this action. Dai Li is making a decision. One minute later, Dai Li spoke and said, Chief Tang. In. Transfer Meng Xiaoyuan to the second department. Yes. Tang Zong knew that Meng Xiaoyuan had been targeted by Director Dai. The second department is the action department with Dai Li personally serving as the department head. Is there a reason not to be promoted when living with Director Dai day and night? Meng Xiaoyuan Arrive Dai Li didn't even ask Meng Xiaoyuan if he was willing to join the second division. I have temporarily assigned you to the special service team and asked you to secretly arrest Park Chung Min with a few people. Do you dare? Dare Meng Xiaoyuan answered loudly with a straight chest, what's so scary about catching a Japanese spy? Dai Li flashed a ray of appreciation in his eyes. Not only should we catch Park Zhongmin, but also we should open his mouth at the first time. 
Yu Yu read a book www.yuyukangshu.net and asked him to explain the Japanese spy agencies behind him and destroy them. At the same time, we should not let the Japanese seize the handle. The most important thing is not to hurt the friendship with those people in middle note. After all, this is their case. Upon hearing this, Tang Zong had already pinched a handful of sweat for Meng Xiaoyuan in his palm. Is it difficult to meet all of Director Dai's requirements, but it is necessary to do all three at the same time. I originally thought Meng Xiaoyuan could climb to the sky in one step, but now it seems clear that he will fall into a big trap filled with bamboo sticks at any time. Director Dai can use you, but if you cannot meet his requirements, he can also dismiss you. Tang Zong began to sympathize with Meng Xiaoyuan. But what I never expected was that Meng Xiaoyuan didn't even think about it. I promised to complete the task. But please send me a special agent team of five people, and I will choose the personnel myself. At the same time, give me the right to act conveniently. Good kid. Tang Zong was even more surprised in his heart, daring to bargain with Director Dai. I promise you everything. You can choose anyone from my second place, even if you want Chief Tang. Dai Li didn't hesitate. During the process of executing the task, you don't have to report to me. What I want is not the process, it's the result. Yes. So I'll go carry out the task. Go ahead. Dai Li waved his hand. Watching Meng Xiaoyuan walk out, Dai Li also began to feel curious. It is almost impossible for Meng Xiaoyuan to fulfill all the demands he has put forward. What ability did he have to agree to them? The simplest way is to capture Park Chung Min. But what about the last two? Dai Li thought for a moment and shook his head. I don't seem to have a better way myself. Chapter 2 Don't Lie You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Lu Huanwen, Mu Dekai, Yuan Zhanghi, Xiang Shonong, and Zhu Yani. These are the five people selected by Meng Xiaoyuan. Zhu Yani is a female spy of Lixing society. She graduated from a training class in Hangzhou and is very beautiful, but she is usually only responsible for translating electricity. It is unknown why Meng Xiaoyuan chose her. Lu Huanwen and Meng Xiaoyuan are both classmates from the 10th cohort of Huangpu and were selected to join the Lixing Society together, so their relationship can be considered the most intimate. Everyone joined Lixing Society at the same time and worked the same amount of time, but Meng Xiaoyuan was already able to handle it independently, which made Lu Huanwen very envious. Dai Li specifically asked the General Affairs Department of the 3rd Department to prepare a sedan for them. Zhu Yani was about to board the car, but Meng Xiaoyuan called her aside and whispered to her for a while. This. Zhu Yani hesitated a bit. Do as I instructed, Meng Xiaoyuan couldn't argue. Good although Zhu Yani completely did not understand the meaning behind it, the discipline that was repeatedly emphasized from the moment she entered the Lixing Society still led her to choose unconditional obedience. Get in the car, let's go. Midikai was responsible for driving, and Meng Xiaoyuan took up the passenger seat when coming to Nanjing, be sure to queue up in the alley of Shueishi Gate to buy a salted duck, and be sure to go to the Confucius Temple to see the smoke and rain of Qinhuai. Of course, you must also spend a day playing at Zinjiku. Zinjiku is the place with the highest pedestrian flow in the entire city of Nanjing, where all kinds of people are mixed. Hawkers carrying burdens can be seen everywhere, but unlike the colorful shouting of northern vendors, the shouting of Nanjing vendors is much simpler. They often rely on tapping the small drums and bells on their hands to enhance the effect of shouting, and different professions strike different instruments. Amidst the chaos, two-dot-story buildings can be seen everywhere on both sides of the road. In such a season, there may be a girl sitting in the south study on the second floor, listening to the warm sunlight shining on her body from the dense and dark green loquat leaves, and then quietly carrying her parents to read Zhang Henshui's Chunming Weishu, or Xiao Yenyuan. Meng Xiaoyuan took Lu Huanwen and Yuan Zhanghi to the opposite side of the Demao Foreign Company, and said, Old Yuan, 
go and inquire about the situation. Got it. Yuan Zhanghe hurriedly walked towards Demeyang. Two bowls of wonton. Meng Xiaoyuan and Lu Huanwen sat down in front of a wonton stall. Although this wonton stall is small, there is not even a table. Diners can only sit on small benches or squat on the ground with bowls, but business is very good. His small wonton is as thin as a cicada's wings, showing crystal clear meat stuffing. It is cooked in big bone soup, and the soup is fresh and not greasy. Be sure to eat it now. Take out the pot and put it into a bowl, then sprinkle a handful of scallions. Even if someone who has just eaten sees it, they can't help but come and serve a bowl. When I came to Nanjing, I hadn't had a good time. Lu Huanwen was salivating, and I ate a bowl of wonton in a couple of bites. Meng Xiaoyuan had just finished half a bowl when he saw that Yuan Zhanghe had already returned. He leaned in his ear and said, the two guys just left, and now there's only one person inside. I've confirmed that it's Park Chung Min. Boss, money. Meng Xiaoyuan stood up and kicked Lu Huanwen, who was still drinking soup, saying, it's done. Don't be so unproductive, let's go. Lu Huanwen reluctantly put down his bowl. Three people arrived at the Dumao Trading Company, and Meng Xiaoyuan was the first to walk in. What would you like to order? There is only one man in his forties in the foreign firm, lazy and indifferent to door dot to dot door business. However, he speaks Chinese very fluently. Park Chung Min. Meng Xiaoyuan smiled and said, I want five hundred pounds of this sesame oil. Five hundred pounds. Upon hearing about such a big business coming to his doorstep, Park Chung Min finally walked over and said, Yes, yes, what else would you like to order? I still need you. What? Park Chung Min was taken aback, but a gun had already hit his waist. Don't move, kidnapper. This is Meng Xiaoyuan's intelligence. He wants to say that he is a spy of Lixing society, and Park Chung Min may struggle to call for help. But if it's the kidnapper, that's different. After all, most kidnappers want money, not life. Moreover, this is Nanjing, at the feet of the emperor. If someone causes trouble, it may lead to great trouble. Sure enough, Park Chung Min's frightened expression just now relaxed and said, It's easy to say, easy to say, don't hurt me, I'll give you any amount of money. Follow me. Three people held Park Chung Min hostage and quickly took him away from the Dumao Trading Company. Park Chung Min's feet softened and his whole body trembled. He finally found out that the person who kidnapped him was not the kidnapper. This is not a bandit stronghold, but an interrogation room. On both sides, there are various types of torture tools hanging. In the middle, there was a bucket filled with water, and a whip was soaking inside. Strike. Meng Xiaoyuan moved a stool and sat down, and immediately burst out a word from his mouth. Before Park Chung Min could react on what was going on, Xiang Shou Nong, with his big and round waist, had already picked up his whip in a fierce manner and whipped it at Park Chung Min who was bound there. Ah! Heartbreaking screams echoed in the interrogation room. After whipping five times in a row, Xiang Shou Nong finally stopped. At this moment, Park Chung Min was already torn apart, and he let out a series of mournful cries. It hurts. It hurts. What are you asking? I said it all, I said it all. The effect has been achieved. Meng Xiaoyuan then asked, I know that Demao Trading Company is the contact point for Japanese people. Please explain everything you know. I say, I say. Park Chung Min has never been a tough guy. Yu Yu reading www.yuukangshu.net, and he was immediately intimidated, making him extremely afraid. The Mao Foreign Company is a special intelligence agency dispatched by the Japanese North China Garrison Intelligence Department to Nanjing, specifically responsible for commanding and spying on military intelligence. The head of the agency is Mitsuro Bando. Wait, Meng Xiaoyuan suddenly interrupted him. What's your name? Chief of the organization. 
Banteng. San Lang. Meng Xiaoyuan smiled and said, when you explained the name before, your speech was quite clear. When you mentioned it, there was a clear pause, which was that you were fabricating a name. When I asked again, you spoke the words, Ban Teng, in a low voice, while San Lang spoke louder. This indicates that you are boosting yourself. Park Chung Min, you are lying. I don't have it, I don't have it. Park Chung Min became panicked oh my god, how did this person analyze that he was lying based on his tone of voice? Meng Xiaoyuan was too lazy to talk nonsense to him. Fight. No, it's Matsumoto Aero. Park Chung Min completely collapsed. He is the assistant of Lieutenant General Matsumoto Kojiro, the head of Japan's North China Spy Agency, and holds the rank of Army Major. Lu Huanwen and the others glanced at each other. Colonel. Oh my god, are we going to catch a big fish this time? Put him down. Meng Xiaoyuan was satisfied and watched as Park Chung Min endured his pain and limped to his face. Do you want to die or live? To live, to live. Okay, write down everything you've done in the years at Dumao Trading Company. Yes, yes. Secondly, Give Matsumoto Aero a call and ask him to go to room 318 of the Huizhong Hotel in an hour, and say you have important intelligence reports. Chapter 3 First Use of Punishment You are listening at NovelFull.audio Huizhong Hotel Matsumoto Aero hurriedly walked into the restaurant. As the head of the Nanjing spy agency, he made remarkable military achievements this time. He falsely claimed to be Korean and became good friends with Lt. Col. Xiong Zizhuang, a staff officer of the National Government Military Commission. A piece of intelligence was obtained from Xiongzi village at the dinner table. Especially the strategic defense map of the Nationalist Government Army that was just stolen, this is simply a miracle. I am bound to become a legend in the history of espionage. Park Chung Min is in such a hurry to call, there must be some important intelligence. Room 318 The door was ajar, and Matsumoto Aero looked around and quickly walked in. This is a luxury suite, with a living room outside and a bedroom inside. Matsumoto Aero did not see Park Chung Min, but instead saw a young and beautiful woman sitting on the sofa in the living room, dressed in a fitted Chongsam. I made a mistake, Matsumoto Aero immediately said. No, the woman stood up with a smile on her face. Mr. Park is in the bedroom. Matsumoto Aero suddenly became alert. Park Chung Min never allows a third party to appear when he is in contact with himself. Trap. He turned around and wanted to leave, but it was too late. Three guys with big arms and round waists rushed in and pressed Matsumoto Aero to the ground. What are you doing, what are you doing? Matsumoto Aero struggled desperately. Meng Xiaoyuan walked in slowly, glanced at Zhu Yani, and nodded at her. Help, help. Zhu Yani suddenly burst into tears, tearing open her collar and pointing to Matsumoto Erlang on the ground, crying. This thug broke in and knocked me down, trying to be strong, strong. Rape me. Let go of me, let go of me. Matsumoto Aero used all his strength and was suppressed by three big men, unable to move. A bunch of nonsense, a bunch of nonsense. Meng Xiaoyuan squatted down and said, I'm from the investigation team of NJ Public Security Bureau. Note. After 1937, the provincial capital city's public security bureaus were renamed as police stations. Meng Xiaoyuan pointed to Zhu Yani and said, you say that a woman will tarnish her reputation, and that you have done something worse than a pig or a dog. Name. Matsumoto Aero suddenly realized and his heart no longer panicked. This is, immortal dance. Some police officers will specially bring in such women, frame and frame them, and then strike a hard blow. Perhaps Park Chung Min has also fallen into their hands, right? Matsumoto Erlang felt relieved and said, my name is Wu Xingliang, Korean. I have been wronged, wronged. A wrong. 
do you think a wrong is a wrong? His mother, it's silly to be a policeman. Meng Xiaoyuan acted like a rogue policeman. Tie it up and take it back. In a moment, Matsumoto Arrow was tied up in various ways. Meng Xiaoyuan waved his hand and said, let's go. When they were taken downstairs, guests from the restaurant came out to watch curiously, pointing and pointing at Matsumoto Erlang. Meng Xiaoyuan raised his voice and said, I caught a thug. If you want to be sharp, don't even look, don't even look. Matsumoto Aero simply wished he could find a crack in the ground to drill down. As for Meng Xiaoyuan's subordinates, they never expected that he would use this method to arrest Matsumoto Erlang. Meng Xiaoyuan called Lu Huanwen over and whispered, immediately conduct a comprehensive search of the offices of Damao Foreign Company in Matsumoto Erlang. Name Matsumoto Aero knew he had been deceived, just like Park Chung Min, he never dreamed that this group of self proclaimed police officers would actually be spies. Now, all he has to do is grit his teeth tightly and never reveal his true identity. As I said, my name is Wu Xingliang, a Korean who came to Nanjing to do business. Oh, that's it. Meng Xiaoyuan smiled and said, Originally, if you were Japanese, I wouldn't dare to do anything to you. There's nothing I can do. Otherwise, your Japanese embassy would protest today and issue an ultimatum tomorrow. As a small spy, I wouldn't be able to afford it. But are you Korean? That's easy. I'll ask you one last time, who are you from? South Korea. Matsumoto Erlang went all out. Meng Xiaoyuan waved his hand and said, punishment. Xiang Shonong smiled grimly and picked up the whip from the bucket. Ah! Ah! A series of screams echoed in the air. This kind of whip dipped in water, hitting a dozen or so whips can really kill a person. Xiang Shonong whipped a few times, afraid that he might actually kill the other party, and paused for a moment. Tell me, Yu Yu reading www.yuukangshu.net, what is your name exactly? Wu. Xing Liang. Although Matsumoto Arrow was as angry as a thread, he gritted his teeth tightly without letting go. Xiaoyuan, this guy's mouth is tough. Xiang Shonong turned around and said, fight again. Meng Xiaoyuan discovered that while Xiang Shonong was speaking, he tightly held the whip in his hand, with veins bulging from the back of his hand and his nostrils moving. This is a manifestation of excitement and anticipation. This guy has a psychological problem and likes to torture people, but he is indeed the most suitable candidate for execution. If he continues to fight, he won't be able to hold on. I still want to live, Meng Xiaoyuan said slowly. Here, I'll teach you a way. He he, seven years later, the China-US Cooperation Institute was established, and more than 130 types of torture tools were gradually established. Meng Xiaoyuan had visited them in his past life, and most of them were remembered in his mind. I am conducting experiments on you all the same, not afraid of you not daring. He called Xiang Shonong to his side and said a few words in his ear. Xiang Shonong was stunned and looked at Meng Xiaoyuan dumbfounded, Xiaoyuan, don't you be a pervert, can you come up with such a perverted method? Holy crap Meng Xiaoyuan's nose is almost crooked with anger. It's obvious that you are a his mother psychopath, and you actually depend on me half an hour later. Matsumoto Aero woke up leisurely. When he saw Xiang Shonong pick up another bamboo stick, he completely collapsed. Don't. Don't. Don't provoke me. Xiang Shonong became anxious. He has just come to his senses. Unfortunately, Matsumoto Aero can no longer bear it. My name is Matsumoto Aero. Japanese. Chapter 4. Smart and Sensible. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Under the torment of Meng Xiaoyuan, who was a pervert, Matsumoto Erlang ultimately couldn't resist and recruited everything he knew. As explained by Park Chung Min, 
Matsumoto Erlang was a Japanese lieutenant and the intelligence department of the Japanese North China Garrison sent a special agent stationed in Nanjing to shut down the customs. He not only explained all the espionage activities in Nanjing, but also fully explained how he stole the top-secret intelligence from Xiang Zizhuang's hands. Since becoming friends with Xiong Zizhuang, he often invites each other out for drinks. Just a few days ago, while drinking again in a small tavern, they learned from Xiong Zizhuang that the briefcase he carried with him contained important documents. That night, Matsumoto Aero found two skilled thieves and stole this document from the home of Xiongzi village. Meng Xiaoan nodded at the beginning and said, If I had said that earlier, why should I have suffered so much flesh and skin? Old Yuan, find a doctor to treat his injury. After speaking, he stood up and came to Matsumoto Erlang's side, saying, I'll teach you a trick. I have the intelligence I need. I can't bear it if you're like this. When the time comes, you'll just make sure you're Korean and call yourself Wu Xingliang. Matsumoto Aero was stunned, what did he mean? Think for yourself, you are at least a Japanese military lieutenant who was caught and couldn't endure torture. You all recruited, and even if you leave in the future, you won't be valued again, will you? Meng Xiaoyuan's appearance should be so kind and kind, so kind and kind. Besides, if you can't handle this espionage crime well, you'll be shot. But what about the strong crime? After a few years in prison, you'll come out, and maybe your people will save you with just one effort. Matsumoto Aero was completely confused. How could this Chinese person become so considerate of others after being like a demon for a while? But when you think about it again, every word he says is reasonable. Think it over, think it over, Meng Xiaoyuan patted Erlang Matsumoto's shoulder and walked out slowly. Hey, Lao Yuan, what exactly did Meng Xiaoyuan come from? Xiang Shonong pulled Yuan Zhanghe aside and said, I heard he used to work in the intelligence department and has only been with us for a month or so. How can he command the operation alone? Maybe someone is up there. Yuan Zhanghe couldn't figure it out. We don't know who is supporting him, but Lao Xiang, listen to his brother and stop. This guy is really a pervert. He can figure out how to nail fingers with bamboo sticks. What the hell can't he do? Don't let him do it. In the second place, Xiang Shonong is notorious for not accepting it, and everyone dares to contradict him except for Mr. Dai. But at this moment, listening to Yuan Zhanghe's words, I couldn't help but shudder. I'm not afraid of encountering tough characters, but I'm afraid of encountering big perverts. Dai Li put down the interrogation materials in his hand. He didn't even ask Meng Xiaoyuan how he made people confess. He said, as long as the result is achieved, there is no process. Can Meng Xiaoyuan actually complete the task in just one day? This was something Dai Li never expected. Impersonating bandits to arrest Park Chung Min, impersonating police to arrest Matsumoto Aero. Dai Li said slowly, Xiao Meng, you are very good at using your brain. Lixing society has a lot of hands dot on skills, but there are not many who are good at using their brains. Very good, very good. He said very good several times in a row, but Meng Xiaoyuan was not happy at all. I didn't miss a minute from the end of the interrogation to Dai Li's office reporting. But actually, Dai Li already knew everything about the arrest process. Someone around him reported to him. And it must be Dai Li's confidant. Who is it? Director Dai, Meng Xiaoyuan said cautiously, Matsumoto Erlang has already handed over the list of spies he possesses to the Japanese Nanjing authorities, and we can launch arrests at any time. The tiger has been caught, a few flies. Let them fly for a few days first. Matsumoto Erlang is missing, his subordinates must be panicked. As long as we closely monitor, perhaps we can pull out a few more big carrots. Dai Li was confident. Xiao Meng, once you wanted to arrest Park Chongmin, but now you have also arrested the head of the Japanese Secret Service, which surprised me. But what did the Japanese say? What did Middle Note Branch say? He had to consider these. If a lieutenant is caught, 
the Japanese will never give up easily. In addition, this was originally the matter of the Middle Note Division, but now it has been upstaged by the Second Division. Those people in the Middle Note Division may make trouble with the old man. When did we catch Matsumoto Erlang? Meng Xiaoyuan said calmly, Zhu Yani, an intern in the translation team of our second office, was forcibly pulled into room 318 while visiting friends at the Huizhong Hotel. The other party attempted to attack her. Lu Huanwen and others passed by at the right time, rescued Zhu Yani, and brought the suspect back. After interrogation, this lawless criminal's name is Wu Xingliang, Korean. Dai Li, who was not serious about speaking and laughing, actually smiled. He likes smart people, and the value of one smart person is better than a hundred thugs. Director Dai Meng Xiaoyuan captured Dai Li's smile clearly, knowing that he had initially gained Dai Li's trust. I believe the Japanese will not admit that they have planted spies in Nanjing, let alone publicly claim that a colonel has been arrested. They will only carry out secret rescue operations. Japanese people can act, and we can also act. Simply hand over Matsumoto Erlang. No, Wu Xingwe to the court and have the court sentence him as a Korean, making the Japanese mute and eat Huang Lian. As for the Middle Note Division, it's my fault. I didn't report it to you. You don't know it at all. By chance, I wanted to catch a top criminal, but ended up catching two spies. You can punish me if you break the important event of the Middle Note Division. Dai Li's view on Meng Xiaoyuan has once again changed. Who doesn't like someone who is both intelligent and sensible, who has made contributions to their superiors, and who takes responsibility for their mistakes? Has a promising future for cultivation. At the middle note section, I will explain myself that Su Enzing dared not do anything even if he was angry. Dai Li pondered there. In addition, Wu Xingguo will be personally handled by the president of the judicial Yuan, Zhu Zheng. I will report to the committee. Zhu Zheng hates the Japanese and believes that he will handle it fairly. His gaze fell on Meng Xiaoyuan. Xiao Meng, hurry up and search the offices of Dumao Trading Company and Matsumoto. It must be completed before the Japanese discover it. Yes, Director Dai, I have already sent someone. Also, you can stay in the second department. With your limited qualifications, take your time and there are plenty of opportunities for promotion. I have decided to establish the action team's second squadron and sixth squad, with you serving as the captain. The five people you have selected will all belong to your sixth squad. Thank you for Director Dai's cultivation. I will definitely not disappoint Director Dai's expectations. Meng Xiaoyuan is still satisfied. Having only been in this era for over a month, I have transformed into a small head of Lixing society. The most crucial thing is that I personally destroyed a Japanese special device in just one day. Take it slow. There are plenty of opportunities for oneself to showcase. Chapter 5 Divide the Spoils Meeting You are listening at NovelFull.audio the offices of Daimao Trading Company and Matsumoto Aero were searched from inside out. A large amount of spy activity information has been found and piled up on Meng Xiaoyuan's new desk. There is also a bag. Meng Xiaoyuan opened it and saw the ocean, Japanese yen, British pound, US dollar, fiat currency issued by the nationalist government, as well as 12 gold bars of different sizes inside. It was all found in the offices of Dumao Trading Company and Matsumoto, said Mudikai, who was in charge of the search with Lu Huanwen, in a low voice. Oh, Meng Xiaoyuan responded casually, leave the information and submit the rest. Captain Meng, Mudkai looked to the side and his voice became even lower. You haven't been here long, and there may be some situations that you don't quite understand. We spies, although they may seem glamorous, actually have unspeakable hardships. As for our Lixing society, I don't know if you have heard of a rhyme. Official staff members live in Western Dot style buildings, while preparatory staff members live in bungalows, a small spy lives in a dilapidated house and becomes a field worker for three people. 
Our little spies are actually similar to field workers, with low salaries and benefits. Local agents are decent, while those from other places have to rent a house. I only got this little money in a month, and the rent is really not enough Meng Xiaoyuan immediately understood. Although Nanjing cannot compare to the colorful world of Shanghai, it is currently experiencing the most beautiful decade. It is also known as the Golden Decade by foreigners. From 1927 until 1936, transportation, economy, and education all experienced rapid development. A large number of foreign goods have begun to flow into Nanjing, which has also led to an increase in prices in Nanjing. Taking the most common household soap as an example, ten years ago, one piece of soap was equivalent to five cents. This year, the same bar of soap has risen to 65 cents. The only thing that may have fallen is probably agricultural products. One kilogram of pork has dropped to 19.8% this month. So people in Nanjing say, eat pork as you please, and save soap. Secret agents are also human beings and need money to make a living. Mudkai accompanied his smiling face and said, so we have to figure out how to make some money ourselves. The stolen goods found from criminals are usually divided among everyone. Sometimes, when it's really impossible, we just go catch the opium traffickers we've already controlled. Smuggling them, we call them, fat pigs. We don't do anything to them, just let them give some blood. We have to find a way to survive. What's up there, don't you care? Meng Xiaoyuan asked. Mudikai chuckled a few times and said, it's not easy for everyone, and they know our difficulties. As long as we don't go too far and cause trouble, we'll just turn a blind eye. Meng Xiaoan nodded at the beginning and said, Old Mu, I'm just here and I don't understand many rules. I'll have to rely on you to provide guidance and guidance in the future. I dare not, I dare not. So, how do you divide these things? Mudikai seemed to have already calculated. Divide the money and the ocean into six parts. Of course, you take the big head, accounting for 70%. The rest, you pity us and give our brothers a few points. I have weighed the gold, 12 gold bars, totaling 120.8 tails. This is a huge sum of money, and we cannot swallow it alone. We must take care of all the important figures from top to bottom. Director Dai personally controls the second department, and we don't have the courage to give it to him. However, Deputy Director Kong Jinan's Ten Liang plan is indispensable. He spoke to Director Dai. Tang Zong, the head of the first department, is Eight Liang, and Feng Shaokai, the head of the General Affairs Department, is also Eight Liang. We often ask him for help. For the others, Hu Zipping, the head of the personnel department, and Ku Jianan, the head of the inspection department, each person is required to pay ten tails. Our assessment, promotion, compensation, and disciplinary supervision are all in their hands. Accounting Director Su Renji, Translation Director Yao Dunwen, and Telecommunications Director Wei Daiming each hold five liang. Writing about the stock director Li Zue in three or two is enough. Wait a minute. Meng Xiaoyuan interrupted him, Li Zue is at least a stock chief, why only three liang? Mudikai smiled and said, the copywriting department is usually responsible for organizing files. We have fewer opportunities to ask him for help, so it's reasonable not to give him anything. However, when people carry people, everyone works in the same department. Got it, got it. This guy is a talented person. He has a clear understanding of the affairs of the second department, and who should give more and who should give less. He has a clear account in his heart. In addition, take out another fifteen tails and distribute them to those captains and other useful spies. Mudkai had already calculated, so, a total of seventy point nine tails of gold will be taken out. There are still forty point nine tails left. The main credit for this is yours, you take the big head, forty tails. We can also get some of the remaining. Accounts are not afraid of calculation they are afraid of not being able to calculate clearly. Forty tails of gold is quite a lot. 
In BJ, a courtyard house where a late Qin prince once lived was only sold for over fifty taels of gold. Meng Xiaoyuan pondered for a moment and said, Well, the overall situation remains the same, but for the ocean and money, I'll take five to achieve success. For gold, I'll take thirty taels, and the rest will be divided among the five of you. Oh, how could that be, how could that be? Mudkai's nose turned red with excitement. They are the lowest level spies, eating meat on top, and they don't expect to drink soup. They just want to make some soup residue and get their mouths wet. But now with a wave of his hand, the newly arrived Meng team leader, aside from the ocean and money, received nineteen tails of gold, divided among five people, and almost four tails. This has really made them a small fortune. Follow Captain Meng, Yu Yu reading www.yuukangshu.net, Money Road. Although Meng Xiaoyuan had some ideas in his mind, he was not clear about the internal affairs of the two places and had to rely on old hands like Mu Dekai. And, as the new captain, you have to make your subordinates give you their all. How could you be so determined? Relying solely on authority is not enough. You have to make them follow you and feel hopeful. Meng Xiaoyuan knew that there was someone arranged by Dai Li around him, and he was certain that Dai Li had promised him some benefits. Since that's the case, why can't I also buy him over? Money, there are opportunities to earn. People's hearts need to quickly gather around themselves. I'll leave all these things to you, Meng Xiaoyuan hesitated no longer. What should be delivered, who was missed? Tell me again. Lao Mu, if it gets dirty in the future. Can you help me decide how to divide these things? Cheng, Cheng, don't worry, I will let them all know. This is what you arranged for them. Mud Kai flattered, how about this? You just took office today and will be off work soon. I'll call them a few and celebrate your success together. Okay, I'll treat you. Don't, don't, aren't you slapping me? Brothers, come, brothers. Okay, you can book the restaurant. Mud Kaixing rushed away with gold, ocean, and money. Divide the spoils. Can this be considered a spoils sharing event? No, divide the spoils for a while. It seems that working here not only has a future, but also a way to make money. Five subordinates need to fully tap into their potential. Xiang Shonong is a good criminal, and Mud Kai is an old fogey. What about others? Take it slow, you will always discover their strengths bit by bit.